Homies and homets. This is it. We are here. We are at the finale. We are episode five of FTF Fears to Fathom Woodbury Getaway. I'm super excited to play this one as well. This, I, so far, this is the final one in the series. I don't know if they're going to release more. I hope they do. But for now, this is it. Comment that I wasn't going to say. I'm not going to say it. Because I don't want to ruin it for y'all, for the experience. So we're just going to go balls deep. Raw. No hesitation on the pullout. Because we're leaving it in, baby. Yeah, I put it right. What? Oh, oh goddamn! Oh. Have you shown yourself to the children? Oh, you can change the wording of that, bro. There's an orb. There's an orb. That's wild, bro. December 8th. Need a coffee to get done with the day. We're going. We're we're going straight in it. I don't like this already. First of all, why are you still here at work so late, bro? That felt weird. I thought I was gonna fall out the damn window. Need to prepare a cup of coffee. Right here. My hands are full. All right, so. It's not the one that has a reservoir. My Keurig has a reservoir. Okay. So. There. Shit looks stupendous. I need to put a lid on. I want, I want, I want, I want, I want creamer though. Okay. Alrighty. Don't drop it. Hey, let me put no additive. Was I supposed to put that first? I want to put creamer in my shit. I don't let my shit just black, bruh. Come on, drink this coffee so you can go poop. The trash can. Kobe! Needed to use the restroom. Of course, because when you drink coffee, you always have to poop after. God damn it. Bro, come on. Con flip it. This how you live in my guy? Couldn't do it with the door wide open. All right, bet, shit. Picky. Don't be a jump scare this early. Come on. Even though I, I stood over. <laughs> Ooh, you bitch ass motherfucker! <laughs> I was about to go out and chop your bitch ass! Man, I'm sorry, I didn't know anyone was in here. <sighs> you almost gave me a heart attack, bitch! I'm so sorry. I should have not before I came in, but there's usually anyone here that's like. <sighs> no, it's fine. You just do your job. Again, I'm sorry. I usually do not, but I'm a little bit frustrated tonight. Hustle slipped my mind. Hustle? Oh, musta. Musta slipped my mind. What has you frustrated, dear? Someone keeps throwing coffee cups on the floor all over the office. It's been happening for weeks. 
Yeah, that's that's really rude. Well, I need to get back to doing it. Don't want to be here all night picking up coffee cups. Have a good night. Freaking bastard. Get the shit out of me. The time is different. What the hell? If you're Gen Z, tell me what time it is. Put it down in the comments. Go for hey, Sydney Harper. Mike. Oh, hey, Mike. I've been trying to call yourself for the last two hours. It just keeps going to voicemail. Yeah. All right. Yeah, my battery dies oh, at the worst times. Yeah, I was starting to think maybe you were ignoring me. <laughs> uh, no, he didn't cut out our client <laughs> earlier. Um. Uh, anyway, uh, what are you still doing at work? It's getting kind of late. Just more overtime. Damn, Art, that sounds rough. Good thing I called to cheer you up. <laughs> yeah, Mike. Good thing. Um, about our trip, did you get a chance to book the rental house? Just really wanted to see you. And Nora. I was gonna do it after work. No I just don't want to stress you out. As long as you book it tonight, I think it'll be fine. Hey. Yes, dear. I was thinking, since we both live in the city, maybe I could pick you up and ride together. It'd be nice to catch up. You know, save on gas and relive the good old days. Just a little bit of Mike and Sydney time before Nora gets there. You know what, Mike? I think that sounds lovely. Great. Uh, I guess I'll let you get back to work then. All right, Mike, you have a good night, dear. Oh, uh, wait, one more thing. Yes? When you book the rental, please make sure to keep it under $100 a night. Oh, absolutely. I know everybody's on a budget. Inflation, times are hard. Salaries are not keeping up with everything. You know I understand, Mike. Nora and I were talking, and she's been on a pretty tight budget. Things haven't been going very well for her. Sure, I'll find something affordable. Dear, don't worry about it. It'll be just like the old college days. You always had a knack for finding the best spots. <laughs> you know I did, Mike. They called me the cheapskate because I always find the cheapest steaks. What? Right, right, of course. Sorry for yapping. I'm just excited, I guess. All right, talk to you later, Harp. All right, let's get on the good worldwide net and see if we can find any Airbnbs that are cheap. I'm feeling lucky. Is there more? Forgot the dot com. Where are we going? Ooh, this one looks very nice. Three hundred fifty dollars a night. There's three of us. Well, shit. This well, no, that's not gonna work. That's three hundred fifty. <sighs> Private room in nature. Interesting. I wish we could filter this, but it doesn't look like these places can uh allow that. Oh, jeez. This one right here is lovely. I love the outside of texture and I love that it has a smoke alarm and a lake view. But this one right here is just grand. It has a garden. It has access to local fish and TV, Wi-Fi, and it has a full kitchen. Wow, this is just lovely. Let me book this one. Mike is going to love this and Nora too. Oh, geez. Look at these pictures. Can't click on the pictures. I will just take their word for it. We will just take their word for it. It has 3.1 stars out of two reviews. You know what? They just listed it not too long ago, and I understand. You have to wrinkle out all the wrinkles in there, honey. It is just fine by me. Let's go ahead and uh, book this cabin before anybody else books it for us. Your booking is confirmed. Print my page. Hey, I'm assuming you get hundreds, if not thousands of stories sent daily. So I'll give you a basic rundown of something that happened to me. I'm sorry if some of what is written. Some, wait, I'm sorry if some of it. Wait, I'm sorry if some of it is written weird, but I was rushed. 
when I was in my early 20s, I worked at a big consulting firm in the city. Life in the firm was a constant juggle of deadlines, client meetings, and trying to prove my worth, which didn't leave me much room for leisure, let alone a social life. The job paid well, sure, but at the expense of, of, of something place. I'm Sydney Harper. Now, this story takes place during one of those days. One of my college friends, Mike, suggested that we take a weekend getaway to rural Vermont. Which sounded like a perfect break from the cycle of work. And my other friend, Nora, was quick to jump on board as well. Nora's such a sweetheart. Know her from back in the day. The plan was simple. Rent a small cabin. Close our shift early on Friday, leave, and be back on Monday morning, bright and early. Mike came to pick me up. Two days later. <laughs> Who this nigga? Afternoon, quite chilly today, eh? I've seen you around, but I haven't had a chance to introduce myself. I'm Gail. I'm Sydney. It's nice to meet you. You're on the 10th floor, right? I'm on the 8th. That's right. I thought so. Seen you a few times getting off the 10th floor when I'm home late from work. What do you do for work? Me? I'm a software engineer. How about you? I work at a consultant firm downtown. Oh, I see. Anyways, hope you have a great rest of your day. Need to get some groceries before snow starts. You too. Yeah. I forgot my suitcase on the elevator at first. Pull it into the. Hey, man! Hold up, cut! Oh, my darling dear, how are you? Heart? Oh, honey, it's nice to see you. That's still how you... <coughs> Hold on. That's still how you hug people? Why don't you hug me like you missed me? Just a test hug to see if you smelled first. <laughs> Fair enough. But just for the record, I showered just for the occasion. Nothing is too good for Sydney Harper. <laughs> you look good. So do you, Mike. You can just throw your stuff in the back and we'll get on our way. All right then, Harp. Are you ready to hit the road? Where the fuck is this Santa? Let's do this. All you got is a cooler. I guess you don't need clothes, huh? I guess there's no such thing as clothes. This is like the same truck from uh, the hitchhiking one. It was starting to snow. What's on your mind, dear? Harper, isn't it weird we used to dream about escaping our college and now here we are, trying to escape from the life we wanted to live. We couldn't wait to get out into the real world. Maybe we, just, maybe we just didn't know how much the real world would, you know, suck sometimes. Change is just hard, like trying to adjust to the new job. Speaking of jobs, how's it going so far? We're working on this project that uses machine learning to predict market trends. It's pretty cutting edge stuff. Sounds like you're shaping the future. Not quite Tony Stark yet, but I'll take it. You know, I never understood what consultants even do. That sounds like important work. All right, here we go. Rick Wilson. That Harp, do you even miss college? Oh, that's like a face on the screen right here. Did you see that? Did I see the school bus? See what? 
There was a school bus by the old house. Maybe it's a project. You know, someone's idea of turning it into a tiny home on wheels or something. I've read people do that on the internet. Can I read my messages? God damn it. Shit. Hi, Sydney. Thanks for booking my property in Woodbury for December 10th to 12th. I'm Rick, your host. Let me know if you have any questions. Snap, that was close. It came out of nowhere. That was close. You know, I read on the internet that in Native American lore, seeing a deer, seeing a, wait, seeing a deer cross your path is like getting a message from the universe. All right, bitch, I'm trying to read, ho. Uh, looking forward to hosting you. Thanks, Rick. Oh, thanks, Rick. Thanks, Rick. We're looking forward. Wait, we're looking forward to it. We're looking forward to it. Just confirming the check-in time is 3 p.m., right? Yes, that's correct. The key will be in a lockbox by the front door. The code is... Mike, I'm going to slap the bitches! Does it seem like he's speeding up? I just want to read these fucking text messages, okay? You keep interrupting me. Fuck me, right? You talk too fucking much. You have a very punchable face. That's what the bobblehead's doing. Yo, Harp, check that out. Now we're pulling in. Are we stopping for some za? I, I am quite hungry. Turn your lights off, bitch. You shot your bot. You goddamn blotted everybody. You know, Harp, I got to tell you, these new GPS systems are something else. This pizzeria is exactly where it appeared on my GPS. I'm so hungry, I think I could eat a whole pizza myself. All right then, Harp. Operation Pizza Pit Stop is a go. Prepare to land. I want a calzone though. Calzone sounds spectacular. Come on in, Harp. Thank you. Well, you're that new coffee machine. I'm sure you'll be fine. You can have some coffee when you get back to the studio. Jerry, you cannot be serious. You know my doctor said not to drink any caffeine. Sounds like someone's having a bad day. Maybe you should. <laughs> Cool off. You little shit. Why can't you go out here and deal with the snow instead of me? I've been working here for six years and I never get to report somewhere nice. Listen, Phil, I'm just clearly the better looking. You can worry about where you'll report once you get that rhinoplasty. Rhinoplasty? Why would I need rhinoplasty? My face looks perfectly fine. You could also use some Botox while you're at it. Actually, maybe you should just work as a studio light engineer behind the camera. Hey, the folks, looks like the codes got everyone craving pizza tonight. You fine folks know what you want to eat? We'll get three slices each. I'll go with pepperoni, cheese, and a veggie. And for you, miss? I want a calzone. Let's do Moe's. Oh, Moe's special sounds splendid. All right, what's your second slice? Let's just do a classic pepperoni. The third, um, shoot. Let's go overseas in Italy and represent for the margarita. Any drinks for you folks? Any drinks, Mike? That should cover us, just the pizza today, thanks. But Mike, aren't we gonna be parched? All right then, six hot slices coming right up. That'd be twenty-two fifty. Cause I'm a lady who knows her worth. Your number is twenty-seven. Grab a seat and we'll call you up when your pizza is ready. Lay out the pizza, sir. Let's get to you. How's the pizza? Oh yeah, the pizza great. Actually, I think Moe's might have ruined other pizzas for me. It's our first time in the area. Where are you headed? Uh, we're on our way to a conference in the next town over there with my buddy here. 
We just stop seeing you whenever a place looks interesting. This place definitely has a cozy vibe. Best decision of the trip so far. How about you? Look, we're just passing through. Just passing through. Interesting. Mm. I better get back to this pizza. You have a safe trip and be careful in the snow. Hey, how you doing, my friend? Not bad of you. Good as a man can be, my friend. Uh, are you here for the pizza? No, just looking for a little help. Maybe I can help you. Maybe you can. But you go and get some pizza first, eh? Maybe we'll catch up later. All right. Mike's probably just like, why the fuck is she talking to everybody? How's the day going? Um, who are you? I'm Sydney. Look, Sydney. Um, we're just here enjoying our pizza and peace. Thanks for understanding. I hope you enjoy your meal. How's the pizza? Well, my dear, you yeah, yeah, absolutely can't go wrong with the pepperoni here at Moe's. Every bite reminds remi every bite reminds you of a story. So what brings you to Moe's? Oh, we're just passing through. Wait, wait. I'm here on a road trip with my friend. You've made a good choice by stopping here. Do you come here often? Oh, my dear, I've been coming to Mo since 85. This place is full of memories for me. Though, my daughter, bless her, she tries to keep me from eating too many pizzas. Bad for a man my age. She says she worries too much. Only have one of these heavenly slices about twice a month now. Well, it was nice chatting with you. Safe travels to you and your friend. It was nice talking to you. Is there anybody else I can talk to? Talkative. Talk to all the NPCs in the pizzeria. Man. Oh. Oh, that's what he was doing. It smells so good in here. It smells like ass. Who farted? My bad. Should I read all these? Oh my God, did you guys hear about Taylor and Baxter? Let me guess. Baxter got her pregnant and now they're planning a Star Wars themed baby shower. I can just see it now. A birth announcement that says, the force is strong with this one. <laughs> Mikey, yeah, <laughs> LOL. Did they tie the knot? Tell me they didn't get married. I didn't get an invitation. Mike, you are the biggest nerd I know. Other than Baxter, he would totally do that. This is so cute. All you need is love. They're on the book face. Aw, so happy for them. They make me believe in love again. Right? I always thought they were so cute together. I remember Tyler telling me how they met at the Beatles tribute concert in high school. It's too stinking cute. That's goals. Our college friends are moving on with their lives and getting married, and I'm here busting my ass and revisiting designs. Busting my ass and revising designs for a company that don't even care about me. Blah. Seriously, I feel you, girl. May as well put a bed in my office because I feel like I live here. We're practically zombies at this point. Exactly. And I miss the city. My social life is officially dead. Syracuse just doesn't hit the same. Can't believe it's been a while. Can't believe it's been a year since the last time we saw each other. Ladies, I have a proposal. Not the same kind as Baxter had for Taylor, but a proposal nonetheless. How about we find a rental house this winter? Somewhere in Vermont, maybe? We can just chill and relax for a weekend. I'm 100% serious. It'd be like our college days. We can watch movies, eat junk food, whatever we want. Maybe we get high? I'm sure one of my old contacts could come through. That actually sounds like a great idea. Now our co- Wait. Our own cozy little getaway for the weekend. <laughs> a getaway? I don't know, Mike. Sounds like a lot of work. Plus, I'm swamped right now. My boss just dropped two new clients on me this week. Oh, think about it, Harpy. A weekend away from all the stress, no work, no deadlines, it'll be a girl's trip. But with Mike. You say it like it's a bad thing. I don't know, guys. I'll get back with you after I think it over. Honestly, the more I think about it, the more I like the idea. That's the spirit, Harpy. Let's make it happen. All right, I'm in. But there better be wine involved. All right, good deal. I'll bring some pizza supplies, not the kind of wake and bake Mikey has in mind. But it'll be so good. Harp, would you mind taking a lead on 
booking the house? You always had such a knack for finding a great place to stay. Me book the cabin? I suppose I could do that. I'm excited, yippee! Here's the thing, guys. I want a tight budget. Like, I'm eating ramen noodles for every meal. I'm tight. Not to mention, I really need to put a new set of tires on the car. If we could find something in the ballpark of $100 per night, I think we can still make it work. I don't know. Let me know if that's okay with you. I hope I get to see you both soon. I did not execute Nor's voice anywhere. Vaguely how it sounded. <laughs> Nor, that's no problem. We will make sure to get something reasonably priced. We've got you, girl. Cheap and cozy. I don't say cheap, Harpy. It makes me sound, well, cheap. We know you're a millionaire at heart, Nor. The fanciest woman we know. Stop! We're on the road, Nor. Let us know when you get going, okay? take forever nor 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 sound like the irresponsible one out of the threesome i'm so sorry guys nor please be careful i hate that you're leaving so late drop slow and don't worry i'll make sure our stays up to let you in all right can i get with goddamn uh rick rick owens rick wilson uh, great, thank you. It's nearly 5 p.m. and haven't received the confirmation text from you. I just wanted to check in to make sure everything is okay. The roads near Woodbury can be a little dangerous if you're not from the area. Please let me know when you arrive. Thanks, Rick. We're on our way. We should be there around 6 p.m. The snow slowed us down quite a bit. Thanks for just checking in. Or thanks for checking in. Okay. Please confirm when you... You check in and safe travels. God damn, that took long. Why it take so long? Did you listen to Noor's voice message in the group? Yeah, I just saw. Looks like she'll be late. That's a bummer. I guess we'll have to start the fun without her. What can we do? Don't act like you don't know what I'm talking about. Or well, number 27, you folks right here. No, oh, that's us. Nick, get, get all in my face and shit. Goddamn. Give me that. Move, darky. All right, you folks are all set. Thank you, dear. Oh, damn. This pizza slaps. Can't believe Noor is missing out on this bomb-ass pizza. I know, right? These sounds do not sound like they're eating pizza. I don't know what it sounds like they're eating, but it's definitely not pizza. Hey there, my friends. Oh, hello there. I saw y'all pull in the driveway that nice old truck. Are you just watching who pulls in and out taking notes? Not at all, my friend. I just noticed you seem to be heading the same direction I was. Y'all mind if I hit the ride with you? Where are you headed? Just heading where the road takes me. I'm a bit of a venture. Just hiking the trails and seeing the country. God's country. So what do y'all say? Care to get his free spirit to ride down that snow road? Uh, why is he asking me like I'm driving? I'm not driving. I want to defer to the man. Hold on a second. Don't you think we need to discuss this? Sure, feel free to jump in. No, I'm not sure we have extra space for another passenger. I'm sorry, I didn't think of that. Surely you can't find just a little bit of room for me in the ride in the middle. Hey, I'll ride in the bay. It's my friend's car. I'm sorry. You gotta be shitting me, lady. No space. I know there's a middle seat. You scared of me or something? I'm sorry. You ain't too kind, are you? Unkind people mean unkind as themselves. You best to be careful out there. Uh, are you threatening us, pal? No, no, no. Y'all got me all wrong. Sorry, I'm just cold and tired is all. Yeah, thanks. He was lucky. Remember when I took Taekwondo in ninth grade? <laughs> are you serious? How are you going to let a stranger ride with us in the middle of nowhere? I was just trying to help. Yeah, well, sometimes helping could put you in a bad situation. 
He seemed harmless. You really never know these days. For all we know, he could have been another Ted Bundy harp. Well, when you put it that way, I guess you're right. I, uh, damn, Harp, you actually eat the crust? It's kind of wasteful not to, don't you think? I guess, but you would have eat the peel of an orange, would you? I hate people make dumbass arguments like that. Mike, hey Mike, hey Mike. Uh. <laughs> holy, that was good. Who says holy that was good? What? That was great. All right then. Are you ready to hit the road? Maybe we can beat the worst of the snow. <clears throat> Are we close? Let's see. If my GPS is right, we should be there in about another hour. Give me the keys. Harp, the weather is awful. Why don't you drive part of the way home? Take a break while I drive, Michael. I'm afraid of what kind of break you're going to give me, Harp. You'll be afraid if you don't give me the keys. Fine, but there's one condition. What is it? I'll get first choice of bedrooms when or if we get there. <laughs> Whatever. Good evening, Vermont. This is your host of WKWB, your hometown station, bringing you the best tunes to warm your hearts on this chilly night. As we embrace the first snowfall of the season, there's nothing like a perfect song to set the mood. So here's a track that'll make you feel right at home. Coming up next, Be Sincere by Ned and Ultimus. Stay warm and stay tuned. Two forty one Woodbury. Ah, it was a quaint little house in a quiet neighborhood. You play this ominous ass music, bruh. What is it, five four three one? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> five one seven six, bro. God damn. Well, come on in, Mike. Why'd you bring just... All right, whatever. What a great place. I knew we could count on you. It smells so nice in here. Right? But I really need to hit the john. Take your time, Mike. While I'm gone, you can put these groceries away. Should be enough space in the fridge. Sure. He was close. Whew. Sorry about that, Arp. Are you okay? Long drive and all that pizza really did a number on me. Well, all the groceries are put away. Thanks for handling that, Arp. Anyway, this place looks crazy nice. It's got that rusty charm you just don't see anymore. Hang on, I really need to pee. You can go ahead. I'll start unpacking our bags. The smell alone told me pizza really had done a number on Mike. At least 5-0 rolling through here. She. 
I had to admit it, but I didn't wash my hands. Oh, you feel any better after the drive? Much better now. I'm good. Want to check out the house? Sounds good to me. Let's see what this place has to offer. Why'd you start emoting like that, bro? After you. The living room is bigger than my apartment. Loud ass TV, man. Turn that goddamn music down, man. Shit. I don't know if it's me getting old or what. But that shit was loud as hell, man. Goddamn. Shit. All in my ear. Alright, bro. Why you on my ass like that, man? I know my ass is fat, Mike, but shit. You don't have to be right there every step of the way. They got a we they have a fucking Ouija board. Throw this bitch away. There we go. Your bitch ass. What's down here? Probably the basement. Oh, Jeebus. A totally normal basement. <laughs> this place totally reminds me of your college dorm. Are you sure I don't smell the Long Beach Kush here? This bitch is big, bro. Mike, I need you to back up two big steps, sir. That's what I need for you to do. You are in my personal goddamn space. That was a one-time thing in college, okay? I feel like we're going to have to come down here again. <laughs> but at least we have, like, another person with us. Because when it's just one person, it's kind of creepy. Let's see if we can open this door. Uh, no access to guests. I wonder what this guy doesn't want us to see. Flashlight. Hell yeah, brother. Just a normal looking room, I guess. Nothing too special here. Mike's gonna be on my ass. I ain't gonna be able to leave now. Oh, he moved. Okay, cool. Uh, nothing special. God damn it, Mike! Scared the shit out of me. No, God damn it! I can't even do a voice. I'm so goddamn scared. <laughs> Welcome to my home, sweet home. What a lovely young couple. We're just friends. Hoops and days are silly me. I didn't ex I, I didn't we didn't expect anyone to be here. Oh, uh <clears throat> I was looking out for my cat earlier and I remembered the TV has been all the friends here. Just thought I'd stop by and try to get it working again since the last few folks left a bad word for it. You know, they say treat your guests like family. My family doesn't go without TV. <laughs> Speaking of that, now that your folks are here, let me show you around my sweet home. Right now? I'd be a bad owner if I give you the grand tour. Host was a middle-aged man with nervous energy. Rather bit big. I didn't think it was more over here. Right from the start, his presence made us uncomfortable. Go, Mike. Shit. Hear your shower. That thing can make it feel like you're bathing under a waterfall in Amazon jungle. Oh, the sink doesn't work, unfortunately. Not to worry, I'll get it fixed for you real soon. Let me show you the other bedroom now. Look, Harp, this room has a nice ass view. You think that's nice, mister? Where did I show you the deck? Follow me now, please. This nigga weird, bro. Holy smokes, this is incredible. Incredibly cold. Glad you folks like it. This is one of my favorite spots. The view of the creek is beautiful. It's a great spot for fishing, too. All right, folks, let's head back in before I catch cold here. Here's the storage. If you need anything, tools, extra blankets, whatnot, it's all here. If the power ever goes out, you can use a flashlight here on the right. Storms like these, you never know. Well, thanks. All right, folks, let's head downstairs now. 
All right, folks. I see you already stocked up the fridge with some tasty food. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for one. Wait. You see the knob? Turn the knob up for more cooling and down to cool it off. I tend to keep it in low in the winter. The meal goes out of control. Speaking of winter, I better say, folks, the water heater. Um. Nothing to worry about down here. Just the water heater and some old store stuff. If it ever stops working, just hit the button at the bottom. The pilot light will fire right up and you'll be back in business. Hey, sir, what's the deal with that room over there? Nothing you two need to be concerned with yourselves with. We kind of use this basement as storage. Winters don't need the space. I really ought to keep upstairs. Oh, they really ought to keep upstairs. Okay, well, I was just curious. Just a question. Well, let's move on. I don't know how I'm going to do Nora's voice. Did I mention? Well, no, maybe I ought to keep it to myself. The fellow I bought this house from, well, told me his mother died down here. Some guests had reported hearing voices at night say they could hear something shuffling around down here. Not to scare you folks, but if I were you, if I were one of you, I wouldn't really step down here. <laughs> the look on your faces. <laughs> Come on now, I'm just jossing with you. I'm just yanking your chain. At this point, the creepy meter was quietly pinging her at around 6 to 10. Are you coming, Miss Bitch? Oh, let that mustache off your face. All right, folks, snow's starting to pick up, and I'm going to hit the road now. I got to find that damn cat. Thanks for showing us around, creepy. By the way, what was the name of the book? Wait, what was the name on that book? And I must be getting old. It's Sydney. Ah, Sydney, that's right. Pretty name for a pretty gal. Don't don't about face to me like that, nigga. What's up? Is it just me or is that dude super weird? Very weird. Anyway, let's go see if there's anything on, if there is anything good on TV. Actually, I'm going to go take a quick shower. I feel all icky and whatnot. Cool. I'll find something to watch while you're in there. <laughs> Let me know if it feels like you're under a waterfall. What a weird guy. God damn, bro. The shower door was open. Miss, you are by yourself. What was that noise? Oh, bitch. Oh, he was back there. Hey, Harp, check this out. I found the fishing rod in that shed. Planning to catch dinner? Now that you mention it, that would be pretty epic addition to the trip. Let's do it. Hell yeah, follow me. There's another road in the shed. Well, oh, there's another rod in the shed. So we can both give it a shot. Do you want to grab the other fishing rod, Hart? Yeah, just give me a second. Cubby! Whoa, my god. That was horrible. I guess I still had it in me. You're not making these, Nora. You are missing. Ah! Call me. Let's go. <laughs> Alrighty. Oh, snap. I saw a killer recipe for a baked carp. We'll need to catch three carp, though. You up for the challenge? Yes. Well, first things first, we need the right bait for carp. Check out this bait board. Wait, this bait information board. Whenever you're ready, grab a carp bait and let's head to the creek. We're going to catch some carp, Harp. Please don't make rhymes with my names. Uh, that's really it. Let's get cheese. 
I hope those cars are providing today. Bro, it is cold as shit out here. There. How do I cast? we go they say whenever there's one carp there's always more Sir, woohoo! Just one more carp left. You got this. Let's do it. All right, get that. While I'm cleaning, while I'm cleaning the fish, do you mind prepping the marinade? Sure. Just take a bowl and throw in ginger paste, cooking oil, black pepper, salt, Italian season. Shoot, I'll, yeah, I remember all of that. Oh, it tells you. Uh, paprika. Paprika. Paste. Black pepper, salt, salt, black pepper, olive oil, and Italian seasoning. And then do you mind throwing the fish and the marinade in the casserole while I chop the veggies on it? Two car. Boom. Marinade. Oh, uh, and then where are the veggies? Now could you add the veggies? I read it needs to go in for thirty minutes at four hundred. Alrighty. True. A bit. Those carp are going to taste amazing. While we wait for it to cook, how about we play some board games? I saw some in the living room next. I saw some in the room next to the living room. Which one? Just grab whatever catches your eye. Can't wait to see what you pick. I saw some in the living room next to the. I didn't, watch them say no. Let's not play this. Oh snap! Is that a Ouija board? Molly once told me she contacted her dead grandma through one of these boards. I can't stand her spiritual bullshit. Hey, remember how the dude was acting weird about the basement? What if we tried this down there? I fucked up. I fucked up. All right, let's go. I, I didn't say yes or no, nigga. Where'd you go? Why would you come way over here, bro? Oh, you're, you're setting up shop. Okay. I'm not ever doing this shit. What? You know what will make this even spookier? Turn off the lights. <laughs> Hold on, man. I don't think I can pick up. Let me see something. 
He's gonna be like, where are you going? Away from you? Yes! Anyways, do you know how this works, Harper? No. I know how it works in real life, but I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, no. Nope. So here's, so here's how this works. First, we place our fingers slightly on the planchette. We have to ask questions and the spirits, if there are any, will move the planchette to spell out the answers. Or at least that's what Molly told me. All right. One more thing, Harp. Never lift your fingers off once you're done. Or once you start. And once you start, you have to complete it. Never take your fingers off the planchette until we say goodbye. Otherwise, the spirit might... Otherwise, we might tick off some spirits. Anytime you see anybody doing this on YouTube, they always take their fingers off. All right, then you go first. Bitch, you. It was your idea. Uh, there ain't any spirits who want to talk to us. I don't know what to spell it. Yes? No way. Are you moving it? No, that wasn't me. Okay. I got one too. Go ahead. How's the afterlife treating you, buddy? Hey, be respectful. I feel like he's going to take his fingers off. Or a door's gonna pop out of nowhere. What's your name? My turn. Come on, buddy, give us a sign. Let us know you're here. You're stupid. You're stupid. You're the epitome of stupid. When you look in the cycle, you don't shit. I'm not usually the one to go believe in ghosts or spirits, or but I'd be lying if I say I didn't feel uneasy that night. You dumb shit. Where'd you go? You motherfucker. I hate Mike. I hope Mike dies tonight. You mean weird how you left me? What the hell, Harp? I figured you would move your ass too. Uh, would have been nice if you had chicken. What? Have you ever heard of fight or flight? Sydney, I'm sorry, okay? Whatever. The next thing we prepare is the mayonnaise. The we mayonnaise. Fry this in a pan with Irish tofu. I'm not gonna lie. This is gonna taste like shit. <coughs> but here you are, anyway, listening to my cooking instructions. This is the bream of the mayonnaise. We, we gotta inject it with a little anesthesia to make sure it doesn't revolt against us. It gets very angry once it knows we're trying to cook it. After doing that, we mix all the ingredients together in a tray and place it inside the oven. Okay, and while that's cooking, we can start on the appetizer. Is this cooking with Jeffrey? Gasoline like the last one? Gasoline soaked ramen. Now, this dish is extremely hard to make. A really? Dish only you need ramen and gas? Experienced cooks. It requires a lot of patience and skill. What you will need is gasoline and ramen. And ramen. This dish really soothes the soul. Almost like a high-end cleanse. We begin by pouring the gasoline into this. Harper, that was some damn sure fine food. Twice really as good since we caught the fish ourselves. Maybe use it was really good. We made a great tea, Mark. Hey, anyways, so after I need to check my emails real quick. Left my laptop upstairs. Thought we were taking a break from work. It's not work. I'm just waiting on shipment details for my new DS. I'll be right back. All right, I'll clean up here. Fantastic. Once the gasoline fully soaks, 
into the noodles. Into the noodles. It's kind of scientific. Bill Nye who? The gasoline molecules merge with the noodle molecules, and they taste very good. Yo, Grandma! Yo, I made you food! No, 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 it's not, it's not poison. It's not poison. I think there's someone under my bed right now. Can you come upstairs? This nigga gonna do a lame ass jump scare, you bitch. Gotcha! You're lucky I didn't break your nose. My. My. Wait, I can't even do his voice anymore. My good looks are half my. Wait, deep voice. My good looks are half my charm, Harp. Don't mess them up. I totally got you. That was fun, wasn't it? That's not cool. Come on, it was just a joke. You want to go for the next round? Next round? How about a game of hide and seek? Fine. All right, you're on. I'll count to ten. We have many options to choose from, including pet friendly, alcohol friendly. Yep, I knew it. I knew I was supposed to hide in there. I got you. That wasn't even a challenge. I figured you would be good at this since I never find you in the city. Maybe I wanted you to look harder. All right, my turn to hide now. You better close your eyes and start counting. Got you. Hang on, Harp. I think I heard some upstairs. You really gonna try this again? No kidding, Sydney. I really heard something sliding up there. You didn't hear it? No, I did not. I swear on my life, I heard something. I see the attic access door in here. What? They really got an attic? Oh shit, there's attic. Why would you close the door, nigga? Couldn't reach it without the step stool. Oh. The fact that you closed the... Whoa. <laughs> I think there is like only one way in here. Meow. Meow. Hey there, buddy. What you doing up here by yourself? How do you even get down? That shit's wild. Said, so, are you okay? What was up there? Looks like you aren't the only pussy in the house. What do you mean by that? It's just a cat. Oh, that's a relief. I was worried they were there for a minute. I think she's hungry. Oh, yeah. Maybe we can give her one of the carp after I come find you again. Ah. 
Ah, there you are. Damn, Harper, took me a while to figure out you left the house. Anything worth doing is worth doing well. My turn. Close those pretty eyes now. I'm getting tired. Look, I'll hide in the house. We're headed back in anyway. You find me and we'll go to bed. I don't understand why I gotta close my eyes. What's going on? What happened? Way there. Rick, why are you back? I'm fixing the faucet. You got a problem with that? I mean, he did tell you. You should have told us. Miss, this is my house. I don't need to check in with you every time I fix something. I've never seen anyone fix a faucet with a hammer before. You ever fix many faucets yourself, young man? Didn't think so. So I'd imagine you don't know what tools you need. Uh, isn't this late for you? No trouble for me at all, miss. I'm right around the block. I told you I'll get this thing fixed for you real soon. You think maybe you could fix it tomorrow? You asking me to leave, miss? No, Rick. She's being polite. We rented this house and would like to have it to ourselves. I, we don't really want to have to call the law enforcement. Mike, please, let me handle this. Ain't no cops at Woodbury, son. Huh? You think they're gonna arrest the homeowner for fixing the faucet? I was just doing some work. If you can't handle that, it's your problem, not mine. You know what? If you folks don't like me fixing the faucet, I'll leave it to you. I've never been treated like this in my goddamn life. Fought for this country in two world worlds. Hey, Vietnam, this is boo. Shit, I don't understand these young folks nowadays. I always want to argue and bicker with somebody. I'm just out here, a man trying to fix my faucet, and they kicking me out of my own goddamn house. Uh, after locking the door, we debated what to do. We agreed that there was something off about Rick from the start. It seemed like he enjoyed making excuses to come over unannounced. In the end, we decided Rick was weird, but probably harmless. We attributed his behavior to an extreme lack of social awareness. Look, we've already drove all the way out here. Let's just enjoy ourselves, Mike said. But by this time, I was feeling really tired. Decided to get some rest. Harp, are you still awake? Hard to sleep when someone's knocking on the door. Do you mind if I come in? I'd like to talk to you about something. Uh, sure, I guess. You said you want to talk about something. The storm is starting to get really bad. I can hardly see the truck in the driveway. I hope Nora is okay. Uh, she'll be just fine, Sydney. Don't worry. I'm here to keep you safe. What? Hey, it's no problem at all. Uh, guys are supposed to watch over people they care about, right? What are you talking about? What a day, huh? This wasn't exactly how I thought our getaway was going to go, Sydney. I know, right? Can you believe that guy? He just keeps wandering around the house like he owns the place. He does own the place. You know exactly what I meant, Sydney. He shouldn't just barge into place whenever he wants. We rented the damn house out. I mean, the guy is probably harmless, but I'm frustrated. Yeah, me too. It'll help if we both get some sleep. Nigga, get, get your arm in. Why don't you come sit by me, Sydney? Harp, you know, I've missed this. Us just talking. It's been too long. You don't have to sleep alone tonight if you don't want to. Would you be doing this if Nora was here? You act like you don't remember our trip to Oregon. Oh, I do remember it really well. Oh, yeah, I do tell. I remember it being pretty awkward. It didn't start out awkward, though. Mike, we had a lot to drink. Things happened. They, sh they, oh shit, they sure did. I'm hoping maybe they can happen again. I guess I've been meaning to talk to you about that. You just let me worry about the details, Sydney. 
Mike, I don't think this is a good time. Seventy miles in the snow. You do you know how long that is going to take in a snowstorm? Seventy miles is just not seventy miles an hour. You're not gonna get there in an hour. You're gonna have to you're gonna have to like decrease your speed by half. It's gonna take my goddamn two hours to get there. <sighs> what a timing, huh? But I guess we can't leave Nora stranded. No, we can't. We better get ready. No, Sydney, you stay here and get some sleep. There's no sense of both of us freezing our asses off. Are you sure? Yeah, I'm sure. You're in pajamas and I'm still dressed. You just settle in and I'll go help Nora. That's really nice, Mike. I always like doing nice things for you, Sydney. There's very small noises like way off in the distance and I can't tell if that's intentional or not. We'll finish talking about this later, okay? Get some good rest and stay warm. Hey, why don't you get some rest while I'm gone? Uh, are you sure it's safe to drive in this weather? Nah, look, make sure you take care of yourself, all right? Lock all the doors. You sound like my dad. Can you blame me? How about a hug? I mean, just in case you're asleep when I get back. I kind of need one right now. <sighs> Whatever. Sweet dreams. Get some sleep, Sydney. Sydney? Sydney. I was keen on getting some sleep until Mike and Nora arrived. That's going to be forever, bro. I told myself things would get better if I could just get some rest. Nora always knows how to cheer me up when I needed it more by the minute. And I needed it more by the minute. With her arriving soon, I decided to rest in the meantime. Ain't no goddamn way. Someone was at the front door. The realization that someone was outside late at night was horrific. I saw you there, my friend. Please open the door. I'm freezing to death out here. Do you have any idea what time it is? Look, friend, I know if I know it ain't ideal banging on your out banging on your door in the middle of the night, but I'm in a bad spot here. I was counting on a ride from some friends, but they ruined behind. Wait, but they're running behind, and I won't be here. It won't be here for about two more hours. You're not coming in. End of story. Are you fucking kidding me? You gonna let me freeze to death out here? I didn't make you go hiking in a snowstorm. I should have known you'd be as big a bitch as you were when back at the pizza joint. What? You think I didn't see you with your little boyfriend fishing in the creek early? I figured maybe you'd give me a chance this time, but looks like you're still unkind. This nigga? The hitchhiking bitch? Get out of here. I'll call the cops. Ain't no cops around here. We, we, there was a cop car circling. What you talking about? Who, who? Take it up. I don't see your fellas truck out here either. I'm down to 911 now. Fine. Suit yourself. But let me tell you something. You'll get what's coming for leaving me out here. Karma's a bitch, my friend. The man at the door seemed irrelevant compared to how tired I was. I couldn't keep my eyes open. I had to get some sleep. There was, um, it was like something I was hearing up there. Oh, it's Rick. 
The spy house during the scene was a relief. Hey there, brother. What the hell going on here? Oh, thank God you're here. Rick, I'm so glad you came. There was a guy. He was here making noises. He was making threats. I didn't know what's happening. I went back to sleep and ran him off. I tried to call the cops. There was no cops in this town. I don't know what the fuck that means. There's always cops in this town, Rick. What you tell me, Rick? What's going on, Rick? Then I called you because I fell asleep again and I heard something downstairs like he was outside running around the house. Now, I don't know what to do. Now you here, now we here. I don't know what to do. What's going on? Yeah, I came as quickly as I could. I wouldn't worry about him anymore. That nigga got a hammer. By the way, where's your friend? The guy who was with you earlier? Mike? He went to pick up our other friend. Hmm. So you're all alone here right now, huh? Yeah, but my friends will be back soon. Storms like this bring out all kinds of folks. Not all of them know when to stay away. Fuck you all, get away from me, bitch. Everything okay, miss? Uh, awful late for texting, isn't it? Who are you talking to? Uh, it's, it's my friends. That they're, 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 they're almost here. Is that so? You can head back if you want. You sure about that? Yeah, I just overreacted. Maybe I should stick around. Make sure everything's really okay. You need to leave right now. What did I just say? I can't move at, at, at all. I can't move. This is my fucking house and I will leave when I goddamn want to. Get out of here for a god damn I don't think so. If anyone is leaving this house, it would be one of us. <laughs>
Why are you walking so slow, bro? Goddamn. <laughs> Shit. My nigga, you scared me, bro. I told them everything that happened after Mike had left. Rick had called the cops. The storm had quieted down by the time they arrived, and of course the man was nowhere to be seen. On our drive back, the whole night played over and over in my head. We think that the man we saw secretly lived in that cabin when it wasn't being used and planned on robbing us during our stay. But cops seemed to think there was more intent behind this man's action aside from just robbing us. Rick asked me what the man looked like and after that he didn't ask any more questions. We think he knows more than what he's letting on, but at the end he gave us a full refund. Burleasy cooking with Jeffrey is Burleasy. I'm Dante's on here. A parsing Rael. All right. Five episodes of terror. I will rate that one the lowest of all of them. No, second lowest. Uh, Home Alone was probably the lowest. Woodbury Getaway was probably ah, fuck, probably a four and a half, five. Uh, Storyline was decent. Jump scares were meh. I think it was only jump scare twice, maybe. The uh, fishing was pretty cool. Uh, the, the new feature that they've had. In the series, um, I, I enjoyed it. They need to do a little bit more of that in the next games whenever he drops or whatever or whatever he's deciding to do next. Link to the game is down below on Steam. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Show Ray out some love uh, on his dev page on Steam. Show me some love by hitting the notification button and the subscribe button. Big dogs, little dogs, little doggettes, homies and homettes. I appreciate y'all for watching. I appreciate y'all time, y'all ear. Until the next video. Peace.